Hey guys, welcome back. It's a few days later from the last video you saw. And oh my gosh, you guys, big things have happened. It is Monday. Today was my first day of work. Uh, it was training and it was on East Coast time. You guys, it started at 6 a.m. Cali time, 6 a.m. So I had to get up at 4.30 because I needed an hour to get ready. I needed at least 15 minutes to wake up and drink my coffee and then obviously make sure I could get on to everything because it was virtual. So it has been such an early morning. I was exhausted, but luckily we finished around 1.30. So I had some time to rest. We did find out that the, the buyer for our house has signed um almost everything tomorrow they lift their contingencies which means this is really happening you guys how i was like we're kind of waiting to see how things go before we you know figure out the whole moving thing so um we're moving it's official officials whistle and so today we ordered the pods that's the company we're going to go with for like um they're going to come drop off the pod we're going to fill the pod um, over the course of a week and then we are going to obviously have it stored um, thankfully at a pod facility because we were thinking we we're trying to figure out where we were going to store it and it ended up only being like $80 more a month to store it at their facility and the facility is in Sacramento and with 24 hour notice we can go in and access the pod whenever we need um, if you guys missed the last few videos basically we decided to sell our house we got and accepted an offer. The offer was basically moving out in two and a half weeks from when the offer was put. We have been kind of trying to figure out what is going on. We have not found a new house and my parents are literally angels and are allowing us to move into their house while we find our new house. So, um, Pods are being, the pod is being delivered in two days. We're just gonna get one 16 foot pod. Um, the buyer wanted majority of our furniture and we weren't willing to sell them everything, but we did sell them all the outside furniture, majority of the games from our game room because those are just so big. And also for the next house that we buy, we just wanted it to be the size of the upstairs, meaning we wouldn't have all this extra space to store them and selling all of them individually and coordinating the pickup. It just made more sense to buy it or to sell it to them. Um, the fridges, um, washer, dryer, they bought all of that. Our huge, oh, our beautiful tree trunk table. Oh, I am so sad, but we sold them that and all the West Elm chairs that took us forever to find. But you know what? You know what? It ended up being worth it because that gigantic table is several hundred pounds. It is legitimately a tree trunk. It is not hollowed out, anything like that. It is solid wood tree trunk and barely fit in the door. We had to hire four moving people to get it in and it was a whole ordeal. So we were very, very nervous about getting it out. So it kind of worked out that they wanted to buy that and a whole bunch of other stuff. So thankfully we are actually not having to move all that much stuff, which is why we only got one 16 foot pod. So we're hoping that's gonna be enough. If not, um, some of our other family members have so graciously offered that we could use some of their garage space because at that point it would just be like two couches or something like that, you know, that wouldn't be able to fit. And so hopefully this is gonna be a pretty easy process, but a little stressful that it's all happening during my first week of work and while I'm working, because obviously I can only do it after work. So uh, we have six days to move. We have six days to be out of there, guys, six. That was something I was really nervous about because by the time they lift the contingencies, we had only a few days to be out. So we're making the most of it. We're doing what we can, but that's what's going on. Um, right now I just got to Wingstop. We decided we were going to treat ourselves to one of our favorite food groups, Wings, <laughs> and enjoy our last supper in the fully completed house because tomorrow we start packing and get the show on the road. So. Uh, thought I would pop in, bring you guys along because again, I told you it was really important to me to bring you guys along for the whole process. So it's not like a huge amount of change. Like last video you guys saw, the house is fully put together. The next 
time you guys see me, I'm in a different house. So that's what's going on. Um, let's go get the food. Our final meal has been secured. I already broke the seal to make sure everything was in here. Oh my gosh, I almost just tripped and fell. Do you see this fashion? Do you see that and all the dog hair on me? <laughs> Look at the freshly showered puppies. Wow. Look at you. <laughs> so we got fries. We each got a cheese sauce. We got a large ranch, which usually they give you smaller things of it, but we got a giant thing. We have garlic Parmesan and mango habanero. And then we have lemon pepper. Um, and I don't know what these two are. Louisiana rub and what is that? Louisiana rub, that's their new one. It's like a barbecue hot. Oh, smells spicy. I can smell that from here. So we have- Oh, honey hot rub. Oh, honey hot rub. So we have a complete feast here. Very excited. We're going ham. This is going to be enough for today and tomorrow. And then we've got some kind of show going. But you guys enjoying our last meal in a fully complete house and with this beautiful table because we're going to be leaving it. Hi guys, good morning from me and my coffee. Just realized these stretchy sleeves, I had it like pulled up because I was uh, doing my makeup and everything. I don't know if you can see it in the background, but I have like my makeup and everything out here. Um, Darren is still sleeping. I got up at six o'clock this morning. Uh, it is my second day of work and I'm very excited. And it starts at eight o'clock today. So it starts at a bit of a better time, but I wanted to get up early and just make sure that no matter what, even if, like, I don't know, something happened and I had to re-shower and get ready, like I had time to do it and not be late today. So I'm ready to go early and I'm just really soaking in this morning. Tonight is when we, or not necessarily tonight, but this afternoon is when we start packing the house. So this is the last morning of just our house being our house and being fully put together. Well, I mean, we never really finished, finished the house, but like put together as we had it. And it's, it's kind of getting to me. It, we're reaching the point of the last, like this morning was the last shower of our house fully put together before everything's in boxes. Some of the stuff is like, you know, gone and all of that. So it's been, <sighs> I'm feeling a little down this morning because of that. And this afternoon, my parents are coming to help. So we should be making quite a bit of progress. Tomorrow is when the pod gets delivered and we have more family members coming and helping us with um, packing and putting everything into the pod. So, um, in about so by end of day tomorrow things are really going to be looking different because a lot of the furniture will have been moved in there as well so just soaking in having it the way it is and although we have known for over a year that we were we were about ready to sell the house um and then of course knowing when we listed it and everything now that it's actually happening it's just like whoa holy crap, <laughs> you know? It's like, I knew it was coming, but when it actually happens, it just, it feels different, at least for me. So yeah, just kind of going through that. Like I'm not, I'm not having second guesses, but as I look around, I'm like, I'm gonna miss it. Like there will be aspects I do miss, but there are 100% aspects that I will not miss. Like there is a reason that we are wanting to sell. And this house is just too overwhelming and it's too much effort, too much work, and it's just really frustrating. So still want to move, but just saying goodbye is always hard. I'm also um, packing hack. So we are not going to buy any boxes. When I used to work at Hershey, I called on grocery stores. People were always coming in and like, hey, um, your guys' boxes and stuff that you break down and just recycle, can I um, can I take them? Because I'm like, I'm moving. And I was like, 
what a freaking concept. And not once did I ever witness any of the staff say no. They're like, yeah, sure, why not? Like, we're just gonna throw it in the baler, get it smashed and then recycle it. So all these people were just like getting all these boxes for free and boxes are a few dollars each. And I was like, why would I do that when I could literally go get them for free and then I'm not buying boxes, but also buying them and then re-recycling them. And like, so also for the earth, it also makes more sense and it's just a lot cheaper. So um, I'm gonna do that. So after work today, I'm going to be going to um, like Rayleigh's, Bel Air, maybe Safeway, depending on how many I get, I might go to Walmart and just get some of their big boxes. So I'm very excited about that. And if you guys are moving, definitely do that. You will save so much money. And then, yeah, it's just better for the earth too. Hey guys, it's a few hours later. So I did the morning part of my training and then now we're supposed to be doing um, a self-led, um, like going through all the training modules and all of that stuff. However, I guess IT accidentally sent everyone's like authentication code. Like when you sign in, they had like a two-step verification and you get an authentication code but they accidentally sent everyone's authentication code to the wrong email. Anyway, IT's figuring it out. So they're like, all right, well, just give us like 30 minutes to an hour and we're gonna get this all organized and then you guys will be able to do the training modules you need to do for the rest of the day. So I was like, okay, I have a break and my parents have um, all this bubble wrap at their house that they are so graciously giving to us, but they have a small car uh, like a very small, like little two seater, little BMW sports car situation. And so they can't fit these giant rolls of bubble wrap. So they're like, you can have it, but you're gonna have to pick it up. So I was like, all right, you know what? Perfect timing. I'm just gonna run over there and go pick it up. So that's what I'm doing right now, zipping over to my parents' house and then coming back and hopefully they'll have the training module situation figured out by then. And I can finish all of that today. Um, also, this morning I called um, a Bel Air by my house and thankfully the night manager was there. So he's saving all of the boxes. However, he was like, the only thing is that because of the shift change, I cannot guarantee that the boxes will be here tomorrow afternoon when you wanna come get them. Cause I was gonna come get them on my lunch break tomorrow. And so I was like, so how do I guarantee it? And he's like, you would have to come meet me before I leave. So if you can come between um, like five and 7 a.m. And I was like, okay, I don't know about five, but how about between six and 7 a.m.? I can definitely get up with enough time to do that. So he's like, okay, perfect. Just, you know, told me his name. He's like, ask for me and I will see you between those times and I will save all of the boxes for you. So I was like, oh, and he said that to, uh, tonight happens to be when they get the largest shipment. Remember I told you Tuesdays? Yes, but I was thinking that it was unloading Tuesdays, but it's Tuesday night, I guess. So um, tonight they're getting the big shipment, so they are gonna have even more boxes than usual. He's saving all of them for me. So we're really gonna be able to get the show on the road tomorrow, and I'm very, very excited about like the box situation. Okay, so we have all of these bags are of um, like bubble wrap, and then we've got some Oh, you can't even see it. We've got some big rolls of bubble wrap and then they had a few boxes and then we have some moving blankets here and then there's another big moving blanket somewhere over there. Oh no. Um, so we've got some stuff to get started. I ordered 12 more moving blankets that will be here in two days, but we have quite a bit to get started today. So I called Bevmo and they were able to give me about six, no, exactly six wine boxes. So this is gonna help um, pack up the wine room. So um, we're gonna just put these in here and then I think I'm gonna stop by another, like, uh, another place like Total Wine and Spirits or something and see if I can get a few more boxes. All right, just got to my second stop. This is a wine and spirit store. Let's hope that they have some. Okay, so they didn't have any. They said that actually people have been coming in all week who are also moving. I forgot spring and summer is like moving prime time. So they did not have even one. So that was a bummer. So now I'm on my way to a Rayleigh's. I called to see if they had some. I was on hold for like 10 minutes and then it disconnected. That was fun. And then I called Total Wine and more to see if they had any. And they, oh, mosquito, there's mosquito in here with me. <laughs> okay, I did not get him. He's still in here hunting me. 
we'll deal with that at a later time anyway call to, uh, total wine and more and they said they do not have any empty wine boxes because the few that they have i guess they use for customers who buy multiple bottles which is fair so um they said they get their big shipment um thursday morning so he said to call around 10 or 11 thursday morning and at that point they would have so many extra that they would be willing to let go of some so that is my time to shine so in two days i will be calling them and seeing if i can secure some but because i was just like two or three blocks away from rayleigh's i'm just gonna pop into the one that i disconnected from and uh see if they have any and then go to uh another one down the street and see if they have any also so you know i'm thinking i might be able to get two or three of them but i had darren go down into the wine cellar and you guys we have about 360 bottles of wine we need 30 boxes 30 boxes to move all of this wine and i have six you guys i could cry they are restocking right now i see all these empty wine boxes Okay, I need to figure out who is restocking this and beg them. Okay, I'm gonna go get a cart. This is, ah. Okay, so I was able to find enough, but now the issue is how do I get all of those in here with all of these? So this is gonna be kind of like Tetris, but I was able to find literally enough. Like we're gonna be fine with this. So I will come back and show you guys once I figure this out. Guys, we did it. <laughs> I mean, we are, full as they come goes all the way back but we did it <laughs> so you guys now we know grocery stores are the moving answer to everything so now we know their warehouse department does all of the regular boxes for you and then their wine department uh, or alcohol department can provide all of the wine boxes and you know what i think it's because at a grocery store people are only buying wine bottles like one two three or like bottles at a time um or if they buy more they buy like six and they have those little like six pack carriers not a lot of people are buying cases of wine or more than six at a grocery store so they aren't using the wine boxes for customers so they're just getting rid of them unlike a specialty wine store where people are buying wine by the case they are giving the customer the box as like a bag basically you know so yeah it looks like grocery stores are the way the way to go and where to get all of this stuff okay so here are all of the boxes i'm so we have them all ready to go so i just painted my nails look how long my nails are getting so i was like you know what this is kind of a waste to not have them painted so i do need to clean them up a bit i literally just finished but i use this sally hansen um gel type of nail polish and this is orchiding aisle and this is like miracle gel so you don't need like a regular um like gel nail drying thing like a uv light this just air dries and then this is the top coat i use so this top coat i took a picture of it from a nail salon and this is one of those really thick clear top coats that look like gel. So this is the brand. I got this one from Amazon and I'll link it below. It's amazing. I got rid of all my other top coats. My parents are almost here to help us pack. So we brought up the bins and I built out the boxes that my parents gave us. So these are all the boxes we're working with until I go pick them up tomorrow, all the ones from the grocery store tomorrow. But we can at least get started with this. And then Darren and my dad are going to start disassembling the different beds in the bedrooms and also um, uninstalling the two TVs. So we have a TV installed in like the sitting room of our bedroom and in the bedroom behind the kitchen. The All the other TVs are just kind of sitting on a surface so we don't have to worry about those. Those will be easy to move. We have more family coming tomorrow to help with uh, more packing and um, starting to move the furniture. So we did find out that the pod is gonna be here between eight and 11 a.m. So bright and early, so they'll be able to take advantage of the whole day. Again, I have work, so on my work break I can help and then after work. So my parents are here. We've gotten going. My amazing mom helping me. We are packing up the kitchen. So we've got a few boxes done. So we've got some serveware, uh, cookbooks, decor, and then more serveware. And oh, also they brought pizza. It was amazing. 
So now we are working through all of the bubble wrap. We've gone through so much. Darren and my dad have already uninstalled the TVs. Um, as you can see, we are moving on to the glassware. We have removed everything from our wine cabinets. So working on that. And then let's take a look where the TVs were removed. So here was where one of the TVs was. So these are two frame TVs. So this big one was the one that was in this room. The smaller one is the one that was in the sitting room in, um, our, in the master bedroom. We're getting things going. Feeling a little overwhelmed, but overall things are going well. It's about 9 p.m. and my parents just left. So we have done so much. We got rid of, or not got rid of, but packed up all the decor here. Um, some decor on the bottom tables down here, there. My All of my office decor is packed and majority of the kitchen is packed. So we have these boxes that are packed so far and surprisingly we haven't used that many so far. Um, and then these are the final decor pieces that we have not yet packed. So we are making a lot of progress. We have a pile of things that we're donating over here. Um, not the appliances, but um, a couple items. And yeah, I'm really proud of what we've done so far. My dad and Darren took apart his desk and then they also took apart um, some of the stuff in each of the bedrooms. So the beds are all disassembled. And in here, they took apart my craft table. It's over there. And then they took apart this bed in here as well. So it's gonna be pretty easy to move into the pods tomorrow once they're here, or the pod once it's here. Now, the one concern that we're kind of starting to have is that we also forgot that we have a big couch in Darren's, um, Darren's studio. And then um, we also had a pretty good sized buffet table that was in the wine cellar that we are taking, plus the game tables. And we're starting to realize that the one pod that we got might not be enough. And we're kind of starting to stress that we might need a second pod. So tomorrow we're gonna load up as much as we can. We have a few family members coming and we're gonna load up um, the couches, the beds, and all the big pieces of furniture, my Pilates machine and some of the bins because remember we've all of those bins with all the holiday decor and everything in the downstairs storage rooms and then all the wine yeah we're just starting to get a little nervous that the one 16 foot pod is not going to be enough so um we're gonna find out more tomorrow we're feeling pretty confident that we're gonna have to get another one but we're gonna just wait until we load everything and then go from there once we're completely positive so that's an update of what's going on so far and our moving journey so far and can we just say that i have stuck with it told you guys i was going to bring you along and guess what i did not disappear this time we are doing it so yeah a lot a lot going on i'm tired and as you may remember, I have to get up quite early to go meet um, that manager guy at Rayleigh's and pick up all the boxes for even more packing. So thank you guys again so much for watching. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe below, give this video a big thumbs up, and don't forget to tune in for the rest of all the moving vlogs and seeing everything that happens, other tips, uh, tips and tricks. And yeah, I'm just really excited to bring you guys along. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.